we introduce a new method to compress and directly manipulate complex blend shape models. This phase model has about 42,000 vertices and 730 blend shapes. Without compression, the animation runs at 8 frames per second with 8 CPUs and the data requires 348 megabytes of memory. Our compression method reduces the memory usage to 25.4 megabytes and accelerates the processing speed to over 90 frames per second with an 8-core CPU implementation. With GPU implementation, we achieved a frame rate of over 300 frames per second without any visual artifacts. Conventional blend shape processing consists of one vector addition and one matrix vector multiplication. The blend shape matrix B holds all the data for the target shapes and the displacements of the vertices, resulting in a large matrix with hundreds of columns and hundreds of thousands of rows. To compress this, we first reorder the matrix to concentrate high rank blocks on the diagonal and apply hierarchically semi-separable matrix compression. This produces two extra permutation vectors, P and Q. Each node of H has either three or four kinds of element matrices. Among them, we apply banded householder representation to U and V for additional compression. With this method, we achieved a compression ratio of under 10% for all our examples. The HSS binary tree exposes a natural structure for parallel processing. In the GPU implementation, we choose a proper computation kernel depending on the level of the tree for optimal performance. Our compression method can be applied to many other techniques that involve a large linear basis. Here we show an example with cage-based deformation. This armadillo has over 100,000 vertices embedded in the cage with 284 vertices. The compressed data requires 115 megabytes of memory and the animation plays at 12 frames per second with 8 CPUs. Our compression reduces the memory usage to 8.6 megabytes and the animation runs at over 80 frames per second with 8 CPUs. We achieved a performance of 245 frames per second with GPU implementation. Here we show a demo of direct manipulation in action. The values on the right are the parameters of the facial expressions. Users can preview the influence region colored in red when placing the manipulation handle on the face model. After the handle is fixed on a vertex, the user can adjust the influence region and move the handle to manipulate the face. The manipulation result varies depending on the value of the influence parameter t. Users can control the influence of the manipulation through the adjustment of this parameter. Now we show the advantage of using the two regularizers. See section 4 of the paper for details. Using only the x0 regularizer exhibits discontinuous solutions during mouse dragging, sometimes showing sudden jumps of the facial pose. The use of XD regularizer alone produces continuous solutions. However, the solutions can drift away from the initial state. Using both regularizers keeps the solution discontinuous while preventing the solution from drifting away from the initial state. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. Our method provides both efficient and precise control. Even a novice user can manipulate the face model to produce a plausible pose, while professional artists can combine direct manipulation and traditional parameter editing according to the strengths of each technique. This demo is performed by a novice user who does not have any prior 3D animation experience.